We're here today at Ken Boyle's house in Kissy Mills. He's the inventor of this super duper bird feeder. What do you call it, Mr. Boyle? Uh, it's just a kind of a whirly bird. And it's for uh, seeds such as sunflower seeds is a preference in them. And it's a simple feeder. It has, uh, in this particular one, two holes here for the, big enough for sunflower seed. Certain birds, such as goldfinches, will land on these projections here, and that, they tend to want to feed uh, a goldfinch, if you ever noticed, in a pasture or something, they'll get on tall weeds, and the weeds will bend over and they'll be picking the seeds out. So they're used to motion and being waving, uh, waving back and forth, like, uh, which imitates their pastures or roadsides, uh, the way they feed. Now they, it's made particularly for them. The bird, uh, as you see in the film, it's on here and if you notice the holes are offset uh, distance ahead, so as the bird tries to get the uh, sunflower seed out of the feeder, they have to flap one wing. And if you can see it in slow motion, they actually flap one wing. I always thought they had to flap both wings, but they actually flap one wing to guide themselves to pick this out. Any residue would fall on the ground. The other birds, such as cardinals or ground feeding birds, uh, quail, uh, turtle doves, you name it, will soon get rid of that. Uh, a spinner up here is a, a simple spinner that allows it to go so far in one direction. If you notice, it's tightening up. When it reaches a certain point, it'll release. Sometimes you can see a goldfinch go around several times. Sometimes they get lazy and they'll just hang on it and maybe put one foot, one claw in the hole. Other birds that use it are woodpeckers, particularly downy or hairy woodpeckers. Uh, but I've seen uh, uh, the red-bellied woodpeckers, the bigger ones, uh, get on it too. And uh, also chickadees and tent mice will tend to spin around it like the goldfinches do. But the goldfinches will use it about 100% getting on these uh, projections here and spinning it around in a circle. Uh, makes a very entertaining thing to watch when uh, they're waiting sometimes two or three deep to get on it and get a seed and maybe fly off to a tree to open it up. What's it made out of? Well, it's made, that one's made out of an instant coffee jar. But uh, it could be two or three times bigger than that. Uh, actually, the more weight, uh, maybe the, the faster it might spin. The, the, the contraption that makes it spin, what, how do you go about putting that together? Well, it's a, a combination of uh, several uh, la cut lengths of monofilament line, and uh, uh, you have to determine that with just testing and trying it like I did. As the bird does that to it, the monofilament line tends to wrap up on itself. When it reaches a certain point, then it, the bird will fly off of it because it slows down and it'll backtrack like that. But then there comes another bird and he may grab it and start it again halfway through it. In some areas of the country there's birds called house finches, which are like purple finches. And they won't get on this and bother the gold finches. Where other feeders, the house finches can get to be a pest. They're, they, a house finch or, or a purple finch has a purple breast, and they're kind of pretty, but they can 
take over sunflower seed uh, feeders. On this they can't because they will not, uh, a purple fence looks like they should do the same thing that a gold fence will, but they won't do it. Uh, they may get on there, but they don't even realize how to, how to do it like a gold fence does. So, uh, some people have a lot of trouble with house finches taking over bird, the bird feeders. I did. Uh, that's where I got my idea of watching them. Have you given away any of the secrets so now this can be duplicated by mm. some unscrupulous yeah. entrepreneur? Probably, yeah. I can't go into all the details, there's more to it than... And if somebody wanted one of these, how would they go about getting one? Uh, I don't know. Do we have an 800 number to flash up here? Uh, no, I'd, I'd be glad to uh, sell them a couple thousand of them if they want. Okay. <laughs> like 800 555 555 or something like that? Yeah, 555 mm -hmm. number. We give us your Master of Art card, Visa, any of that, but cash is preferred. Definitely yeah. cash is preferred. Right. I it's prefer not to have Visa or Master or Discover. Now, or now the, the fortune you're going to make from this bird feeder, of course, it'll benefit directly this young guy right here, right? No, because I, he just. Oh, okay. He doesn't seem like the bird type. Yeah. He's more of a. He's more after young women than he is birds. Well, do you have some sort of contraption that would attract them? No, I don't have any, but he might. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we thank you for uh, spending time with us today, Mr. Boyle. Uh, that's perfectly all right. I, I'm a busy person. It's nice of you to welcome us to your yeah. enormous estate here in Kissy you Mills. You can tell I'm a very busy person in my retirement to dream of something like you're looking at. By the way, this is uh, Pat Boyle with Super Duper News in Kissy Mills, Missouri, signing off. See you back in the studio.